them continuously show your best friend Orlando getting beat up at the casino like I mean, that. And bro, to this day, they still show I mean, it. when I first seen it, I was highly upset because I, I used to wish I was there with him. You, you know what I mean? You were young. Yeah, we, man, it was what? What year was that? 96? 96. Like 20 years old, man. You was like, man, if I'd have been that shit. Bruh. Man, man. I mean, you can, you can imagine if somebody stumps you out, if you walk downstairs right now and a, and a, and a bunch of niggas pack you out, how you going to feel? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanna talk about the Tupac thing. I know already you and Orlando was friends, mm -hmm. right? Um, like like Keefy D went to jail. Like it's mm -hmm. it's going crazy. Did what did you trip when you seen he had got arrested? Oh, bro. I was just like, You're like, what the hell just happened? I just didn't understand him talking about the situation, bro, after you already pretty much was scot free, you know what I'm saying? And then you would go and interview about it. It just didn't make sense. You think to he me. didn't need did he need the money? I don't know. If he I, needed I really the money, you can't blame him. What you mean? How much money you gonna get, man? <laughs> you ain't getting no money like that. I mean, they giving him a little money, so he feeling like yeah. I'm gonna tell my story, I'm sell my no books, money, I'm promote my books. This man I'm is sell. used to having money. Like he, that's not. He no was money. a big dog. Yeah. Like when yeah. you seen Keefe D in the streets when he was young. He, oh, he was the man. Listen, man. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, what took him out? I don't know, bro. I just think I think every his his well dried up, and he was just I guess you know scratching at anything he could. You know what I mean? I ain't seen him over. I ain't seen him since all those things transpired back in the day. BG knockout. Where the hell was they looking for a gun in the house after all these years? 27, 28 years. See, he wrote what a are book. you looking they said for he wrote in this book. house? They you said he wrote this book, bro. And I, I assume in this book he was saying things that he probably shouldn't have been saying. And, you know, from that book and then this confession, he went and made with the police, came out, hit the Internet, and it just, it went viral from there. Yeah, because he was like, if they'd have pulled up on my side of the car, I would have bust out there. Like, what like, the hell is like, going why on? He bust up? over me and he hit, yeah, I thought he hit Suge Knight in the head right. with the boom, boom. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? I don't know. I don't know, bro. I can't explain it myself. I heard, no, allegedly, mm -hmm. I heard that he was sick and he thought he was going to die. I heard the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, now nah, it makes sense. Maybe he same. thought that, but then they beat it. Yeah. You know <laughs> damn, I'm like, what? Bro. He beat it. It was a miracle. Now he's going to live, and he's like, damn, I shouldn't have even say it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, bro. I just don't think that was cool to even speak on. But he was, I mean, you was friends with Orlando. Yeah. Did Orlando, and you, you RIP to Orlando. Mm-hmm. Did he ever come to you and confide in you in anything that nah. happened with Pop? No, nah, he just told me he told me to look at the news. That's the only thing he ever told me. Look at the news? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he didn't tell me no he stuff. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's he a fly no. statement, he man. He was just like, they trying to accuse me of something, man. Look at the news. And then when I seen the news, I'm like, yo. I was like, That's crazy. Yeah. But it made sense to me because that night at that I mean, at the club you, you at, the, at the at the uh, casino. What casino was that? MGM. MGM. Yeah. They were walking, pop walking through there. Now I don't know. You know, you seen that on the video. Mm -hmm. Like when you look at Pac that night and him running up on him like that, and then they falling out and everybody fighting. They didn't show the whole fight. It just looked like it was just a mob of niggas on him. Yeah. And to be honest with you, you can't I, really you can't really hurt somebody with that many people though. Yeah, it only take like two people to really handle one person. But I tripped person. out off of the fact that he was there mm -hmm. and he was by himself. That messed yeah, me up. Yeah, it, it might have been. Dude, it might have been. You know, like just imagine like this weekend. This is Super Bowl weekend, right? And so you walk in the casino with a bunch of people, and then you see a bunch of other people, you know, and everybody splinter off. And then you end up, sometimes you can get caught by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You happen to be standing over here alone at, for that moment. And then, you know. Did, and you may or may not know this, did, did these guys have a relationship with P. Diddy? Mm, I heard I heard. You that. see what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's that. the rumor. Yeah, I heard that. Allegedly, they have a relationship with P. Diddy. And that, you know, did it. I mean, the man said it out of his mouth. I don't even have to really say anything. Like, just just play his interview. <laughs> That's all you got to do. <laughs> just play his interview, man. He said it all. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. That's I heard. Crazy. I heard the same thing you heard. I was like, what? This is wild, man. Yeah. Like, how, how, you, how tough was it seeing them continuously show 
your best friend Orlando getting beat up at the casino like I mean, that. And bro, to this day, they still show I mean, it. when I first seen it, I was highly upset because I, I used to wish I was there with him. You, you know what I mean? You were young. Yeah, we, man, it was what? What year was that? 96? 96. Like 20 years old, man. You was like, man, if I'd have been that shit. Bruh. Man. I mean, you can, you can imagine if somebody stumps you out, if you walk downstairs right now and a, and a, and a bunch of niggas pack you out, how you going to feel? Think about that. You see what I'm saying? That's messed up. Just just, just common sense. But uh, alleged, well, no, he had a death row chain or something is what they were saying. Yeah, but that's just that's just something somebody made up. He didn't have no chain. Nah, bro. Nah. I think one of his homeboys ended up doing something like that, but it didn't have nothing to do with him. So then why would they just jump him like that? Because they, listen, they crips and they bloods. They hoods don't get along anyway. And they had nothing to do with nothing else. They hoods don't get along, period. They already had war going on anyway. So was Orlando, was he a big dog? Like, was he a nigga that, and mm-hmm. if you see him, he's, he's, he's like. He's the nephew of a big dog, so, you know. He's Keefe D nephew. Yeah, yeah. So they, they didn't like, they didn't jive, none of them. Mm-mm. So uh-huh. it, it made sense for us to, when, when you see the white, Cadillac and all this stuff, it made sense that that could have happened that way. Yeah, I mean, like, you see what I, I'm I just, saying? I, I can just tell you if somebody stumped me out, it's not going, I ain't going to let it go either. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Yeah, I'm not, I ain't going for that. Ain't no sense yeah. in riding around. What did you mm-hmm. think? Glass Malone did that video. I just said, that was my car he was in. I said, freak ain't shooting car, reach right across. This gang banging shit is so costly. I just did the interview. <laughs> you know he just blew no, the show. Sure. When they and pulled I up asked out him, here. I say, man, Tupac must die. Where are they? I think he was trying to be artistic, bro. He was trying to tell a story from, from Orlando's side, is what I think he was trying to do. And I know Tupac, you know, we love Tupac. Don't get it twisted. Like, we all fans of him, and his fans are, man, crazy about him. You know what I'm saying? So we try not to offend him in that way. But I think I think it was unique him telling the story from a different point of view. I didn't see nothing wrong with that. Wow! So you listened to that? Yeah, of course. I told you that was my car. He used in the that's video. wow. You yeah. you like here? I got the white car. Right? I just happened to pull up on him, and they was like, "We need a black car." I, I got a black Benz, and I was just like, "Go ahead." Wow, that's crazy, yeah. man! Like like that's the part where. So how? Okay, walk me mm-hmm. through the fact of when you heard that uh, um, Orlando had gotten uh, killed. Um, I was, he didn't got I was, a shot I, before, but this time he gets killed. Yeah, I was actually in the county jail, and I was just like, damn, and I was like, what happened? And then, you know, I got the story. I got the whole story. It was about, uh, I guess somebody owed him some money and was hiding from him, and he happened to be riding by and look over, and the dude at a car wash and pulled over there, and then all the stuff transpired like that. Wow, man. And he yeah. was your, and that was your best friend. Yeah, that was one of my close friends for sure. Yeah, like. That dude would find me anywhere my mother moved, anywhere. He would just pop up. He, like, talking to people, he would find out where I live up and just show up at my door. He I met him in juvenile hall when we was 11 years old. We both oh, in there. Oh, so y'all from, both. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? And then you know how, how it runs. Like, probably it's the same thing in Texas. When you from a certain area in jail, everybody stick together. That's right. So that's how we got close. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.